what did what did the your the paper the Bainbridge Review do after the Japanese Americans had been sent to Manzanar and to Minidoka? How did you keep in touch with them, and what did what did you do? Well, we had a boy, a high school boy, Paul Otaki, who uh, had worked for us as a cleanup boy and putting away type and things like that, and he sent us a report every week on who was marrying, who was having babies, you know, things like that. What was the idea behind having that column? Oh, well, so that they would still be neighbors of the people at home, because we knew they'd be coming back someday, and we hoped there would be no bad feeling. Do you think there's um, any, if, if you were to look back at that time now, do you think you would have done anything different from the way you did it then? Hmm. I'd have to give that some thought. I really haven't considered it. I can't think of anything that we could have done differently. We felt very strongly about the rights of citizens, no matter what the race was. I remember one friend of ours, his name is... Uh, Oh, I can't remember it right now. Alexander Myers. Not Alexander, but... Hmm. Well, anyway, he's a well-known businessman. He was in the insurance business. He's the son of Alexander Myers. He was at our house one night. We were just talking about this. And he said, you know, if they can do this to Japanese Americans, they can do it to W Americans or Mildred Americans. There's this, any, any, any group could be singled out if one group can be. Do you think that something like this could happen again to someone else? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. The trouble is the United States Supreme Court which upheld the evacuation in a very tortured decision. One of the justices, Justice Murphy, wrote in his assent, he didn't dissent, he voted with the majority. He said, this is the first time in the United States that race has ever been legitimized as a reason for incarcerating people. That decision still stands, John. And we can have one president after another uh, issuing the statements that have been made by some of our presidents, that this was wrong and the nation is sorry. I'm sure the nation is sorry. But yes, it can happen again. I don't think it'll ever happen to the Japanese Americans. Maybe it will happen to black Americans if we get into an emotional situation where suddenly they are unpopular people. Well, let's evac evacuate them, put them into relocation centers. Why not? If, if we can do it to Japanese Americans, we can do it to black Americans. We can do it to pink Americans, brown ones. Yes, until the Supreme Court is able to reverse itself, then it still stands on the law books today that, yes, it's all right for the government to do this in time of war, to take citizens without any due process of law and lock them up in a concentration camp. I don't see how you can say anything else, John. <laughs>